In this video session, we shall discuss the need of loading SOS DLL into WinDBG. By default, the WinDBG is an unmanaged debugger. The tool has commands to analyze unmanaged applications, but not the managed ones. We know that, a .NET application is a combination of both managed, and unmanaged areas. So, even if the user load a dump of a .NET application, or attaching a live .NET process with WinDBG, only the unmanaged part of the process can be analyzed by the debugger. And, that is not sufficient for the application troubleshooting. So the question is, how to elevate the WinDBG debugger, capable for analyzing a managed application. For that, user has to load a DLL with name SOS. SOS extension DLL contains many commands that help to troubleshoot memory, thread and performance issues occurring on .NET applications. Let us see a brief overview of the SOS commands. As discussed earlier, after loading the SOS DLL, WinDBG can utilize these commands for troubleshooting. Here are the commands to dump the information about application state, and managed memory that help to debug memory issues. There are SOS commands to list information about threads and their stacks. And some of these below SOS commands print the data placed in .NET internal structures, helping debuggers life easier in troubleshooting. In the next session, we shall see how to load the SOS DLL to the debugger. Thanks for watching.